Hello everyone, welcome to the Bulldog Insider. On Friday, December 6th, Jeff Tedford announced his resignation as the head football coach at Fresno State. The university found his replacement, Kalen DeBoer. He was introduced this week. I'm going to present to you what I consider a proven winner, a champion, a person who understands player development, and a man of high integrity and character, and fortunate for us, our new head coach, Kalen DeBoer. Five days ago, Kalen DeBoer became the 20th head coach in Fresno State football history. The previous 19 did pretty well. Collectively, those 19 head coaches oversaw 98 seasons of Bulldog football. Fresno State has an all-time record of 615 wins, 433 losses, and 27 ties, and 28 conference titles, one of which involved Kalen DeBoer. He was the offensive coordinator in 2018, the year the Bulldogs won 12 games, the most they've ever won in a single season in program history. I wouldn't be here in the first time if it wouldn't be for what Jeff Tedford did. You, uh, you know, it, it just uh, getting the first phone call from him uh, back in 2016 in December, uh, didn't know where that one came from. I couldn't have been more lucky and blessed to be with such a phenomenal football coach and be taught the tradition of Bulldog pride and Bulldog football. And, um, you know, he just, uh, you know, I, I know that the, the role he played as the, the head football coach uh, in the two years I was here. This year, Kalen DeBoer was the offensive coordinator at Indiana. He helped the Hoosiers to an 8-4 record, their best regular season in 26 years. DeBoer has been a coordinator since 2010. Prior to that, he was a head coach at the University of Sioux Falls from 2005 to 2009. His record was 67-3. Now, he's a head coach for the second time, first time in Division I. You know, not having been here just uh, less than three years ago, um, having learned so much over the past uh, two to three years about Fresno State and being such an integral part of uh, the success that we had, um, it, was a, it was a dream at some point when I was here to maybe be in this position. It really was. With his hire, Kalen DeBoer becomes the latest in a line of Fresno State assistant coaches who would one day become the head coach. The first was Alvin Pearson, who was on James Bradshaw's staff. The most recent was Jeff Tedford, who was, of course, on the staffs of both Jim Sweeney and Pat Hill. Some more info on new head coach Kalen DeBoer. Before coming to Fresno State, the first time he was the offensive coordinator at Eastern Michigan from 2014 to 2016. His last year there, the team went to a bowl game for the first time since 1987. When DeBoer was at the University of Sioux Falls, he was named the NAIA National Coach of the Year three times. As a player, DeBoer was an All-American. He was a wide receiver at the University of Sioux Falls. He set school records for receptions, receiving yards, and touchdowns from 1993 to 1996. Scott Bemis went one-on-one -on -one with Kalen DeBoer. It's this week's Coach's Corner, brought to you by Midland Tractor. Yeah, here with the 20th head coach in Fresno State football history, Kalen DeBoer. Of course, Bulldog fans remember him as the offensive coordinator under Jeff Tedford. In your press conference, you mentioned that you always kind of wanted to come back here, that it was really hard to leave this area the first time around. What made this so special to you? Well, you, you know, when you're in the coaching business, you, you look at different places, and having had been here, you, you identify pretty quickly that Fresno State's a special place. Um, my family loved the community, um, and I think that's a big deal. Uh, I think the second part is, is the pride and tradition of Bulldog football and uh, how special it is here. Um, um, you know, and it, and it just, uh, we were riding a high. Uh, I know nothing other than championships here uh, or being in championships and winning bowl games. And, uh, you know, I know we're going to get it back to that spot very quickly. Um, but, you know, those such, just such strong feelings towards the guys that are in this program and, and having recruited, been a part of the recruiting of a lot of them, um, I know what exists here and, and uh, just want to love on them and, and let's go, let's go uh, get to work and roll our sleeves up and get this done. Having been in the Big Ten and now having coached in the Mountain West as well, what do you think Fresno State is capable of on the national level? Yeah, I, I think um, 
I, well, I know what we did uh, the two years we were here, and uh, I look back at the football that we were playing, the quality of football that we were playing, and it was an extremely high level. Um, I know that we have players in this program that can compete at that level. Now I think the difference is you got to build the depth and you got to have you know just a couple more guys that are um, at an extreme level, which uh, I think we attract those type of guys uh, because of everything that Fresno State stands for. So, um, you know, it, it was great being a part of it uh, and having had a chance to see, you know, um, see it uh, up close and personal. Um, it certainly certainly gives me a good vision and, and view to help us here get to those uh, those uh, spots that you're talking about um, being elite. Um, you know, we know what it takes to win a conference championship, um, but, you know, um, I want to take us to even higher places than that. All right, finally, Fresno State's had some coaches who have been here for a long time. Yeah. You know, Coach Sweeney was here for a long time, Coach Hill, uh, uh, Coach Tedford probably would have, uh, you know, retired here is yeah. my guess if, if yeah. he had his choice. Um, could you see yourself, you know, coaching at Fresno State? for a long run? I absolutely do. I absolutely do. So I, I equate this uh, this place uh, to my alma mater. And I was at my alma mater for 10 years. The first 10 years I coached, I was there. And five as a coordinator, five as the head coach. And um, I see the same qualities and values. And when you know that it's the fit, um, that, that you know the school being the fit for me and vice versa, um, you know, you just, the grass isn't always green on the other side. I've learned that quickly by watching a lot of my friends. Um, and I've been very thorough in the decisions that I make to go different places. And I, I feel like I've done a pretty good job of that. And I know that this place is something special. I certainly could see myself coaching here for a long, long time. All right, here with Director of Athletics, Terry Toomey. Uh, you go ahead and you hire Kalen DeBoer. What excites you about Kalen? Well, I think, I think the his success. He's had success in every stop. If you think about uh, our successful seasons here, you think about what he's done in Southern Illinois, you think about what he's done in Eastern Michigan, you think about what he's doing in Indiana right now. Uh, I think that its success can translate here very well. But I also really am very happy and looking forward to working with how he cares about student athletes and, and, and how he's going to invest in our students. So uh, overall, I'm really excited about where we're going and, and what's going to take place in the future. You're familiar with Kalen, obviously, because of his time on, on Coach Tedford's staff. But when you got him in the interview setting or, or you, know, you, you spoke with him on the phone, was there something that surprised you, you know, even you about getting to know Kalen? You know, the thing is, when you're an assistant coach, you know, there's a, there's a real big difference in that, that, that 18 inches moving over in that seat. So when you're an assistant coach, you, you understand how uh, great they can be as an assistant coach in terms of the tutelage. But when you're a leader and, and having to provide leadership into a program uh, historically, like our football program, it was really wonderful to see the transformation, to see him really, you know, just explode. And, and, and really you could see the leadership and how that would have an effect uh, on our students and, and really could see the success that we have in our future just by listening to him and the tutelage that he would provide to our students and the direction. So his vision was really, for me, uh, contagious. And uh, I'm hoping that can uh, spread throughout our valley. Now, we thought that you were going to have to wait until after the signing period to announce the new head coach, but you're able to announce it the day before <laughs> the early signing period starts. What happened with that two-week window there? You able to pull some strings? <laughs> <laughs> no, no pulling strings here. We are a compliant university. Uh, I, th I think the thing that, uh, that's why I mentioned the support of our administration. Our administration was able to understand uh, the rules of the CSU system a lot better, and it is a recommendation of uh, for. 14 days, uh, not a rule. Uh, but the real rule is, of course, to have an equitable process, and we comply to that uh, to the T. So having uh, that understanding allowed us to move a little bit faster than we had anticipated, which was, I think someone said the word fortuitous, and it was. It was something that uh, we didn't see coming, but uh, really appreciate the fact that we're going to give some stability to our students as they move forward in their lives, in their careers here at Fresno State. That was Scott Bemis with both Kalen DeBoer and Terry Toomey this week. Up next on the Bulldog Insider, more Scott Bemis. He'll be joined by Cameron Worrell to talk about Kalen DeBoer. That's next.